I had, I had a sore elbow weight with them body kicks and a sore shin, but everyone gets a sore shin, don't they? They kick a lot, but it's just normal, really. Just yeah. injury free, really. Looking back on it now, what are your thoughts and your performance of it like? I thought it was good, and um, I definitely feel like I could have got them out of there. Um, when I had them hurt, I got over a bit over excellus, um, got a bit too close to my range, I like, smothered myself. I feel like if I just like, kept my range a bit, picked my shots, power shots, I think I would have got him out of there. But he, he's a pretty tough guy, and he like, um, so I wasn't like expecting him to get him out of there, but I wanted to, and I feel like I could have. I just need to be a bit smarter, there's a learning curve, you know what I mean? Like the first round of the fight, it sort of started off not slow, but you were sort of taking each other out, out a little bit. Yeah. What sort of your thoughts after that first round? First round, I was like, um, first round was close, but I definitely feel like I just edged it. Second round, I felt like I needed to um, pace because I feel like I had cardio for days, and I'd done that. Like I felt like the second round was probably my best round. Um, I felt like I pushed the pace, and I, 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 I like sort of like drowned them a bit, and like the shots I was doing, the angles I was moving, and um, I felt like I could have got them out there, but again, it's tough. So it's probably my best yeah. round. I could have carried on with the pace, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. You were obviously controlling the centre of the octagon throughout pretty much the entirety of the fight. Was, was that your game plan going into it? Um, I'm, no, not really. I don't really have a game plan. I don't really watch me abroad inside before. I just I do it in the gym. Um, I, I feel like I, I, I pressure a lot of people like in the gym, so I feel like I could have uh, I could do that like in the fight, but I, I didn't have the opportunity to do it for the last few fights I've had. So I just thought sort of thing, I'll give it a try and it works sort of thing, so I've got proven up the air sort of thing, count on my shots, I feel like if I pressure them, they'll throw out a panic and I'll, I'm like a counter strike sort of thing, you know what I mean? I feel like that's where I do my best work sort of thing, so I feel good. Yeah, when you started shooting for takedowns, we you sort of feel like you were yeah, you I knew that out of sort of... I, I was, it was definitely panicking, but um. He, I was lighting him up on the feet, you know, so I felt like he had to change it, sort of thing. Um, but I, I've got a like, pretty good wrestling defense, sort of thing, so I, I wasn't really too worried. Um, I felt like I definitely heard him, and uh, he was panicking out of like, he was panicking like shoot panicking. But uh, it is what it is, you know what I mean? He couldn't get us, he couldn't get us down. And he tried to hit down the fifth, and I hit him with a knee. <laughs> it wasn't in the head; it was from shoulder. So that was pretty cool. That one. <laughs> You mentioned the smothering your shots. What points during the fight did you feel like you could have got him out of um, The second round, definitely. Um, back end of the fourth, if I'm right. I feel like, um, I, I, like the second round I hit him with like, a one two body, came with a right, and I stepped in with a, with a big left. And um, then I like, had the chance to clinch, and the totally ruined me momentum, sort of thing. Which is good by him, sort of thing. But I felt like I just kept the range and just picked him up. I think oh, he would, I could have got him out of there. But, then again, it's a learning curve, you know what I mean? I know not the like. Yeah. What sort of advice were you getting off uh, James and Fisher in between rounds? Um, it was just like, um, like, like, what shots to throw after me shots. Like, uh, he was throwing like a one-two, like, uh, asking for a one-two head kick. Um, like, I, I need like push the pace, and um, I could have like, I can grapple too. So if I get taken down, I wouldn't be out, out, uh, like, out of shape. I would like. Out me water sort of thing, and um, he was just saying like what shots work, what shots like I maybe could have like um, done better and things like that. So he was just giving us a bits of bits and bits of advice that obviously worked, didn't it really? Yeah. As well as obviously the, the title itself, Mo's obviously a fantastic opponent. Was it a big confidence boost getting a good, um, good dominant win over him? I've, I've, um, my confidence is pretty high at the moment, anyways. Like. Um, my confidence has like, been pretty good like throughout this year. Um, obviously, it's um, a good confidence boost, but I always knew like um, I was like going to win as big as that. I don't mean it's on big head. I'm just confident, and obviously, it's a good name. He's fought a lot of people like the top like flyweights, bantamweights, and couldn't be like years. Like uh, he's never had an easy fight, so yeah, I would say it was a good confidence boost too. I think like, it was a good performance. Me and him, I feel like we'll. Um, Came across as like uh, professionals, like the professional amateurs, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, props to him really and the, the team and the work he puts in. Yeah, good way to have the year for yourself. Yeah, it was a good, really good year. Um, I'm, ha I'm, ha I'm happy, I'm a happy lad. <laughs> How do you think uh, 2023 will look good for yourself? Oh, it's gonna be, I think it's going to go good. Um, I want a few fighting 
I've averaged like three fights a year for the past three years, so there's no there's no like reason not to have three years. Um, I would love to like I don't know, I love to go like pro, but Fish is tough to do that. Um, I just say say what happens. Really, I just want to be active as what, every year. You know what I mean? I want experience. I want I want to put my name out there, sort of thing. Yeah. Or is that a possibility? Do you think uh, going pro just yet, or even sort of? Hopefully, I'm just wait, wait and see what I'm just says. <laughs> waiting for what Fish says. We say I'll have a few more amateur fights. Then so be it. If he's all you ready, I'll, 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 I must be ready. You know what I mean? It depends what he says. Yeah. <laughs> Are you keen to sort of defend your belt or golden ticket? Yeah. Or yeah. I don't. I don't say why not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Maybe another promotion, bit, another belt a bit closer. Yeah. Yeah. Time. Yeah. I, I want um, all the belts. Obviously, <laughs> it's just like human nature to be greedy in it. But I, I'll, I'll, I, there's no reason not to defend it. Um, I feel I'm. Anyone, anyone who wants wants to uh, have a go and uh, let's fight. You know what I mean? I'm not really uh, two plus two. Anyone really? Any any organisation who wants me to hold the belt and fair, fair play, like message for sure. <laughs> a bit more about yourself, sort of how you, you do your own training. So obviously you've had a very busy last few years, like you were saying, lots of amateur fights. How did you get into fighting? Um, I was reading medals made for the cage and uh, and he stepped up brought us and said Colin like Paul Fletcher and I was like cool I could do this you know what I mean and uh, I did, like he stepped up gave us a few like ciders and so I was like oh I'll definitely do this but yeah everyone thought I'll be like oh he's definitely not doing it and I went in on Monday how long ago was this? Oh, I was 16, 15, just turned 15 I think and uh, no, I was 16, I've been trained for six, seven years, so I went on the Monday in the old gym, fight pit, and never looked back, you know what I mean? Just trained every day, like, most, as much as I can, really. Yeah. What's that, what's that journey been like? So? I've been, it's been, like, amazing, you know what I mean? I've been all over, Thailand, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, uh, all over, really. It's like, I've fought all over the country trained some of the gyms in different areas of Britain like I couldn't see myself doing nothing else you know what I mean if I wasn't training I wouldn't I don't know what I mean I'd probably be on 90 kilos playing on video games you know what I mean eating Doritos all day every day um, is that some of the highlights for you sort of the places that MMA sort of taking you 100% and the friends I've made I've, I've made like some uh, amazing like friends you know what I mean like uh, by training I've made a, like a few friends with them um, over in Thailand, everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, even people from Britain, you know what I mean? Like, um, met some cool Americans in um, Dubai. It's just good cracking it, really. You've all got some, always got something in common with you, and always, like, trade with them, you know what I mean? Just, just the life in it. What are, your, what are your goals in the sport, in, like, the long term? I want to go all the way at the top. Everyone says they want to go, like, the UFC and all that. But I want to have a, a really good play in the UFC and uh, I want to go to the, the very top. I don't say why not. I feel like I train hard enough. I, I listen. Um, so, like, the world's is like, I'm saying like the world's in the oyster, you know what I mean? And I'm, I, like, I'm, if I work hard, then things have to come to you, you know what I mean? Obviously, there'll be roller courses up and down, but at the, at the end of the day, when all said and done, I want to be up, up there and people remember my name, you know what I mean? With, you're a seatbelt. Thanks for talking to me. Uh, no worries, mate. Cheers. Thank you.